Going somewhere, Dorian? Why, Vicky, I didn't hear you pull up. No, I used your method. I decided to sneak up. Walking. Are you all right? You seem a bit unsettled. There's nothing wrong with me that a few answers won't cure. Let's talk about my brother for a little while, shall we? I've already told you everything that I know. Excuse me, I, uh, I'm leaving for a business trip, and I have to catch a plane. I don't think so. including all those crucial details you left out. Fortunately, he didn't. Vicky, after everything that he has done to you, how can you trust a wide out man trust it? anyone? Not anymore. You'll forget about your little business trip because you and I have some unfinished business of our own to settle tonight, and you're not going anywhere until we do. I believe your recent loss has clouded your memory. You have forgotten what I told you tonight. No, no. I remember every single calculated lie. Lie? So that's the thanks I get to coming to you on my own to tell you that David was a fraud? Believe me, Vicky. When I found out the truth, I was as appalled as you are. Stop lying! David was a fraud since he came to this town because you're his partner. Oh, of course, he would say that. Oh, but the man is desperate. He, he's trying to shift the blame. I didn't hear it from David. Arthur Vandenberg told me. You know all about the trust fund, and don't you dare, dare say what trust fund. The one my father set up for his son, the son he had by Irene. The one that's worth nearly $30 million now. You've known about it for months, Dorian, which certainly comes as no surprise. Because it was your idea that David pretend to be my I already have my rightful share of Victor's estate. I don't need to steal a trust fund. You didn't do it for the money. You don't need the money. So you were very happy to let David have the money in exchange for something a lot more important. Your life, Dorian. You had David fake his identity just as you had him fake the evidence that freed you from death row. Irene's confession that she murdered my father, that was the ultimate lie. It's a lie you needed to save your neck. And $30 million is a very small price to pay for that, isn't it, Dorian? Too bad for David, he won't collect. I will. I'm getting worried about you, Vicky. You are starting to sound deranged. Because I finally know the truth. And the truth is that you are guilty. You've murdered my father. And you will pay for it, Dorian. You are going right back to prison, and you will not come out alive. I knew it. I knew that you would jump to the worst possible conclusions about me. That's why I came to you, Vicky, on my own, to tell you that David Vickers had tricked us all. Oh, not all of us. I swear to you. David may be a fake, but the evidence that he brought forward is not. Really? And I have your word on that. You don't need my word, Vicky. You have the forensic experts. You have the, the, your own late husband's military intelligence experts that said that that diary was written in Irene's own handwriting, as well as her confession to killing Victor. Experts have been fooled by forgeries, too. The confession is a lie. Everything about David Vickers is a lie engineered by you for one very good reason. To clear yourself of my father's murder, something you did in cold blood. All right, if I were you, I would probably be hurling accusations all over the place, too. But you cannot make that one stick. David Vickers is a pathological liar, Vicky. He has been caught. Now he's looking for somebody else to blame, given our relationship. Who better than me? But I am telling you, Vicky, he fooled me, too. When he came to me in prison with his so-called evidence, I didn't believe him. It wasn't until he claimed that he was Victor's son, I started to take him seriously. I didn't know then that he wasn't doing it just out of the goodness of his heart, that he was, that he wanted the trust fund, Victor's millions, that that was all that he was interested in. I knew nothing about it, Vicky. Absolutely nothing, I swear. Warren, both of you 
can and open up. I know you're in there. Dorian, this isn't a social call. This is complete business. Open up. That's right. But get rid of him. This is just between you and me. And I want the answers first. Yeah, like you don't know. I have some questions regarding your friend, David Vickers. But maybe you already answered them for Vicky. Where is she, Dorian? <laughs>